<clears throat> Hello everybody. Good evening. It is Saturday, April the 30th, and we are going to be closing out the final day of the month with two with two fans that I just received today. One is a Lasco 3733 that you see here. And I'm pretty sure that this is a that this is an older one. I think this is a, a maybe from the mid to late 2000s. I'm not exactly too sure. I really haven't looked at it yet. And this here is a 16-inch Comfort Zone oscillating fan. Both of them uh, I just received today. They were given to me from from a family friend. This is actually the same one that I got that one over there from. Uh, he got these from a yard sale. He got both of them for free. Both the lady technically was was asking. Uh, I do believe six for this one and four for this one. And uh, he had went over there and he had went over there and. That is how much uh, she was wanting for both of these. He left, and then he came back the next day from what he told me. Uh, everything was sold, but uh, she just told him to just take them for free. So he brought them over here to me. And these are going to be on my, on my, on my cleanup list. Both of them are, are in really good shape. They, they're just really dirty. I, uh, I tested both of them. I plugged them in to see if they work. Both of them work just fine. I think that all I have to do with these is just give them a good cleaning and a good service. And that is exactly what will be done with them. This one, however, uh, this is a comfort zone. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, well, let's have a look at the bottom of it here. World and Main Cran Cranberry LCC Company electric fan. And the model is CZ1221BKDG. Draws 120 volts and 60 hertz and 40 watts. And the date it was manufactured was November of 2016. So this is a, so technically this is a, a five-year-old fan. This made in China, made by a comfort zone. And there is the, I do believe that's the serial number, Intertech 3179308. And basically just, just tells all of the particulars on it. And it uses 120 volt views, fuse, 5.0 amp max. Alright. I think I'm going to start off with this one first. Now I'm not going to do anything to them tonight. I'm just going to, just going to show them off and I'll have a little demonstration with them. But anyhow, uh, the fan appears to be all plastic except for the front guard. I do believe the front guard is it's aluminum. The thing is pretty uh thing is pretty daggum dirty. Does have a fused plug. However, the plug does appear to be in decent shape. It's not corroded or tarn tarnished. That's a little tag here on the end. Just a little, just a little caution tag. If I can read it out to you and see if I can find it. I think that tells us the, the gauge of the number, if I can find it. It's too small to read, but yeah can't be uh the gauge on it can't be any more than the what what would be uh on a regular box man let's go ahead and plug it in okay 
the fan is a three speed and it has the uh, the button for for the uh, for the speed selecting here it is a three speed and there's the oscillator it appears to be in pretty good shape let's turn around and have a look at the back of it there is the the carrying handle doesn't appear to be broken nothing on it is broken there's no cracks or anything it's just really dusty there's the inside of it maybe if you can see that motor but we're gonna we're gonna go through that tomorrow there's the, the tilt on it Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and I'll start this thing up now. We'll start it up here. Let's start it up here on the low speed first. Even with that dust, even with that really dusty grill there, it's putting out a slight breeze there. Okay, let's go ahead and kick it up to medium. Balance on it really isn't all that bad. You just feel the vibration of the fan running, but see the blades there? They look to be in pretty good alignment if you can see it. It's got a good clock to it. Okay, now let's kick it up to high. Appears to be very quiet. I haven't got to cleaning it yet, but I know that it I know that the uh, the air quality to it will be good. Let's put it on oscillating here. Okay, go ahead and we'll turn it off, see it spin down. Okay, not too bad for this one. I think this one's going to be a, a really good fan. I be, I, basically all this needs is a good clean up. I'll, I'll just take it apart and I'll give it a good cleaning and I'll oil it. But uh, once that is said and done, this will be good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our focus to the 3733 here. Okay, so here is the 20-inch 3733 Lasco box fan. I think uh, I think pretty much all this needs is a good cleaning too. I think that's pretty much all of them is in need for. Uh, this one, however, appears to be in overall decent shape. Uh, some parts of uh, the blade here are chipped here on the ends, but I really don't think that's not going to be an issue. Hopefully it shouldn't affect anything. It's really not a... There's really not a whole lot of rust on the inside. However, if you look there in the corner, you see it looks like something was spilt in there or or if it was oil or water. I'm not exactly too sure. Uh, doesn't really appear to be any 
slats on the grills missing. However, here on the bottom, if you can see it, does appear to be does appear to be a, a little chip there on the inside. I'm gonna have to figure out a way how I'm gonna fix that. And the cord here is kind of dangling out the side there. However, the uh, the back grill here appears to be in pretty good shape. None of the uh, the slats in the grill are missing or broken, luckily. And there is the uh, there's the inside of the motor. We'll even have a look inside here. If you can get a sh good shot of it, but those windings uh, look to be in pretty decent shape. It's just accumulative of dust and dirt. There's the switch up there. If we can get a good shot of it, turning that. that really doesn't seem to be seized up or anything. Let's look at the bottom here, see if we can find any information or anything. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything here on the bottom. However, if, uh, if I can't Manage to clean that off with some cleaner or something. I'll just sand it down with a with a light piece of sandpaper. Okay, have a look at the uh, at the power cord here. This does appear to be original. Looks to be in pretty good shape. It doesn't look to be frayed or frayed or anything like that. There's no exposed copper, so that's good news. I mean, the core, the power cord, and the prong looks okay. I mean, it's not in excellent shape, but it really doesn't look like it's all that bad either. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and, and see this in action. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll fire this up now. Start it up here on, let's put it on the high speed. Uh, well, okay. This one seems, looks to be a sweet runner. Balance to it is a little off though. Due to what condition the, the blades are in. Okay, let's go ahead and knock it down to medium. Okay, so the performance on this is pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not weak. It puts out a good breeze. Balance to it really isn't all that perfect. I'm going to have to see what I can do about the blade here. Okay, let's knock it down to low. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll knock it back up to high. Yeah. Okay, not too bad for this one either. Spin down time to it is okay, but if I can do something uh, about the blade set here, I mean, if if I can come across another another uh, one of these that I could find a replacement blade for, 
or either that or I'm, I'm, I'm just going to wait until something happens to this one and then uh, I'll just uh, dismantle that and I'll just put it on this one. But if any of you may have any suggestions or, or thoughts on what I can do about this, uh, feel free to put it in the comment box. But uh, I think uh, the only thing that I have to do with this one is to is to clean it up and give it a good give it a good clean and service. And I think this will be a good fan too. This will come in handy for something. There's a little little rust there, a little surface rust there. All, basically, all I have to do is to sand that down. I'm not exactly sure how old the fan is. It, I couldn't find the date on it anywhere, but more than likely, I'm guessing it's maybe the the mid to late 2000s, judging by the uh, the design of it, of the front guard and everything. Actually, I think this was uh, the same model as this one. So, well, there you go, everybody. There is a demonstration of two of my newest fans today. You will be seeing a clean and service of both of these. I hope that you have enjoyed the video, and I will see you next month. And good night, and bye-bye.